What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And welcome back here today to another five star system proficiency challenge. And today we are doing the triangle proficiency challenge. So I just did a five star system proficiency challenge with the Denver Nuggets a couple days ago. And you guys really wanted me to do it with the triangle system in the comments below. So we're here today doing that. You can call it the Phil Jackson challenge because whatever team I get, the coach's name that I use, I'm changing it to Phil Jackson because you know why he originated the triangle offense. So I didn't really have a team in mind that I wanted to pick today. So let's just randomly select it. Also, I am home now. This is um my home in New York because I am home from Temple. Obviously, you guys know why. Uh, let me know if this lighting is okay. If it's not, I'll try to fix it. But yeah, let me know if this looks good on this end or you like it lighter like my other videos. But yeah, we got to select our team and I'm going to stop it in three, two, one. And we get the Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Oh, this is going to be nice. I like this a lot. Because obviously, Luca probably fits any system incredibly well. We'll see if Kristaps, who did play the triangle in New York, and we'll have to decide is uh, Rick Carlisle going to be the coach for this team. So, sense of proficiency, if we go to triangle, who fits it well? Probably not a lot of people. Okay, it's three and a half stars. Triangle, Luca's five stars. Okay, so we already found one player that fits it incredibly well. Kristaps is four stars, and we can probably work with that, but everybody else really doesn't fit it particularly well. So we are, yeah, we're going to figure it out in the off season and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. Oh, and I know some people are going to request that the Bill Russell challenge will come soon. I might try to do the, like the Michael Jordan challenge or the LeBron James challenge before that though. All right. So we end season number one with the 52 and 30 record. It really doesn't matter at all. Like if we could see what Dallas does in the playoffs. We don't have to win the finals in the video, even though I would like to, this won't be a realistic rebuild, but I haven't won a uh, championship and a realistic rebuild in a minute. So that will come for, I guess my next one, but the Celtics do win it all Kemba Walker's your finals MVP they beat the Clippers in seven all right so we will have our first round pick in this draft but it won't be high whatsoever so it ends up being while wow, Pistons stayed at one uh we are gonna have the 23rd pick in the draft we won't have our draft picks in 2021 or 2023 from the Kristaps trade okay so give me a new trainer uh let's get a new head scout uh assistant GM we'll get uh Eli Best now Rick Carlisle um is there any guys out here that are triangle candidates Let's see, and there's nobody here that's really particularly a triangle guy, so we might roll with Rick Carlisle. Uh, we're just going to have to obviously change his preference, so yeah, is there any in general? No, there's not one triangle guy here. Wow, okay, so yeah, we definitely have to make somebody of our own, so we'll see if Rick Carlisle works out for us, and if he doesn't, then we'll go out and sign some new, uh, new coach. So we do have two good players here um, that are going to fit our system well, and what's great about this is Luca. he's a five-star fit. And he's on his rookie contract for the next two years. So we are going to try to build this team before he hits restricted free agency. So going into the draft, uh, Seth Curry, really nobody fit the system particularly all that well outside of Luka and KP. There was a couple three and a halves though. That was Boban and JJ Brea, who probably won't make it for us down the line just because they are up there in age. So I think we are going to be open to moving Curry, Powell, Kleba, uh, Jalen Brunson even. So I don't really know particularly who fits the system well. I'm really going to have to go into free agency um, with some cap space and then sign somebody that fits our system. Um, but yeah, we could pick up Mitchell Robinson here who is only making 1.67 mil. I don't want to give up a first round pick. You know what? I might try to get into the top 10 though. All right. I'm going to try to move. Wow. The Hawks really like Seth Curry. Seth Curry for pick seven. Okay. Yeah. The Hawks really like Seth Curry. Uh, we'll definitely do that. So we have now the seventh pick in the draft. I want to see what I can get for Kleba. Um, I still want to move probably Dwight Powell. Um, Blazers at 13. I don't think they would give that up though. Uh, let's see here. Celtics at 17 for Dwight Powell. Um, they would want a second. You'll give me Vincent Poirier. Yeah, I'll take off his contract for you guys. Gonna try to trade Maxi Kuba to the Hornets for pick nine. Okay, yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. I will throw in pick 23. No. Um, what about this Heat second in 2023? Okay, uh, I'm sure I have another player that you might want. Um, Boban. There we go. So we now we have three top 10 picks, correct? So, or no, we have 7, 9, and 17. I'm gonna try to move DeLon right in 17 and go up to pick 10 here. They don't want to do that, but I will throw in... Let's see. I don't really want to give up a pick particularly. Uh, Justin Jackson, do you... Ooh, the Wizards can't even afford that. Spurs at 11, DeLon Wright, and the 17th pick for 11. They agree to that. So now we have three top 11 picks. Um, I still want to get off the Justin Jackson, probably Finney Smith, and Poirier's contracts at this moment. Um, does anyone want to give me a future first round pick? 
the Elitza, eh, that's whatever. But I, I would like a future first round pick. The Nuggets are willing to give me one. I think I'm going to take that. Yeah, we're going to take that pick from the Nuggets here. Because I have no idea who fits the system whatsoever. And the final trade we are doing is Vincent Poirier and Vlaco Kangar or Kansar for uh, the Lakers 2021 first round pick and a swap worse with the Pelicans. So we will have three picks going into this draft and I'll see you guys at rookie signings with who I take. All right, guys. So I made three selections here and we took Oneka Kongwu with the seventh overall pick. Isaac Okora with the ninth pick, and then Tyrese Halliburton with the 11th pick. I have no idea if any of these guys fit the triangle system um, good at all, but yeah, we'll we'll see down the line kind of who fits it. Um, it's looking like, okay, <laughs> none of them whatsoever. Great. Um, Tomorrow with Jr. opts in, so we are going to look to move him for free agency. So if we go into free agency, who fits the system well? Oh, Marcus Saul, AD. Fred Van Vliet. Okay, he's four and a half stars. Oh, I feel like I got to pick that up. That's that's clutch. Um, we will offer AD a deal. Uh, if he comes to uh, Dallas, that'd be sick. Oh, my God. No way. Okay. That might be our big signing. So, we would have AD, Chris Stops, and Luka. That's three really nice fits. Um, but what I want to do is get rid of Tim Hardaway Jr. real quick. I don't know who's a good fit. Maybe what I might do... Um, is I might try to trade Tim Hardaway Jr. for Fred Van Vliet wherever he goes. If we get AD, let's go. We get Anthony Davis. Okay, so I'm going to read out some rights on everybody here. We get Anthony Davis. That is huge. That is huge that we um, took him away from the uh, the Lakers. So we could offer Fred Van Vliet this three-year deal. Um, he doesn't even want that. Uh, does he have any real offers? Yeah. So the Hawks are, uh, look like they're going to sign him. Um, so where did he sign? He signed with the Hawks. So I'm going to try to trade... Tim Hardaway Jr., who once played for the Hawks, for Fred Van Vliet here. Let's see if they'll do this straight up. I don't think so, but I do have those Lakers picks. I have this Nuggets first. Okay, and I'll give you this. Oh, the Lakers might not be good next year, so I kind of want to keep that pick. Damn, really? They don't want to do this? Um, I don't think I really want to give up one of these rookies. And I feel like, uh, would you do Brunson? We can't afford that. Damn it. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess I don't have to move Tim Hardaway Jr. now. We could wait to see if we want to do a trade with somebody next offseason, but... If I do move him, I want somebody with value. Mitchell Robinson does have value. Uh, he will be under contract next year. I might do that. Uh, what about Doug McDermott? But he, he'll be a free agent. I really don't want anyone that's going to be a free agent. All right. Can I do this trade with Mitchell Robinson without the first round pick? No. Um, what about just the Denver first? Okay. So we get that trade done. Do we have nine guys? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I want to sign one more guy who fits our system well. Marcus Saul. Do I give him a two-year deal? Yeah, we'll do a team option to your deal and we'll see how that works out. So yeah, we have a now a 96 and a 97. Chris stops. Uh, he'll probably play center next to AD. This will be a wild team. It'll be pretty good down the line, but obviously we have one goal and that is to get to five-star triangle system proficiency. So I don't really know what to do with training camp. So I think I'm just going to send our three rookies to on top potential in a quarrel. Halliburton and a Kongwu. Yeah, let's do that. We have a lot of bigs on this team. All right, so with the updated team, we are now at four star triangle, and that's with Tory Craig being bad. Okay, so yeah. The okay, let's see if we moved um if we moved AD to small forward. I don't know if this would really work. Okay, so that puts us at four, but oh I thought Marcus would put us at four and a half. Okay, so who fits our system? Yeah, so Brunson fits it a little bit, but everybody else after. Uh, pretty much the starting five, um, but take out Tory Craig and put in Marcus Saul. Nobody fits it well whatsoever. Like, oh my god, a Coro and Halliburton suck. I don't know. Oh, I guess you're looking for offensive rebounding, spacing for enhanced post and high post opportunities, and ball movement and isolation scoring. Okay. Um, I don't know where the spacing. I guess Anthony Davis kind of spaces the floor. Okay, so yeah, you're looking for spacers. So we need guys that can shoot pass and rebound i'm i'm guessing that's what we need here and if we're looking for strengths and free agency austin rivers maybe he's an upgrade over um he's an upgrade over uh oh i could view him in my lineup oh wait can i actually do that oh wow so i was gonna see if he was a massive upgrade over brunson but the stars doesn't change so i think we're gonna just stick with the team we have now all right so the team next year is gonna be brunson Doncic, Aquaro, davis porzingis with uh mitchell robinson halberd and okowu and marcus saul coming off the bench for us uh, system proficiency will be three and a half stars with this team because the Coral fits it horribly. Whatever. Uh, but at least we have three guys that fit it so well in Porzingis, uh, Luca, and Anthony Davis. Our preseason power ranking, okay, it's a little low. It's at 10, but you know, we're a top 10 team. Cool. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, technically. So at the end of the season, this team goes 63 and 19. 
and Luka Doncic wins MVP. I know I said, like, this stuff doesn't matter. It's all about getting the five stars, but he averaged almost a triple-double, man. He's going to be, like, the biggest cheat code. He's already a 99 at 22. Wow. Like, Giannis, I don't think was ever that good. Um, actually, but, like, um, I mean, he's not a 90. I think, what was he? Like, he's probably in the low 90s, high 80s, like, going into 2K this year. He'll probably be in the mid, high to mid 90s going into next year's 2K. Um, I didn't mean to, like, throw shots at Giannis because he might be 99 in the next 2K. And Rick Carlisle is coach of the year. But, yeah, we're the one seed. Hey, we might win it all, which is pretty cool, I guess. If we want to check out the system proficiency, it's still four stars. Anybody develop with it? Um, it wasn't Kristaps four and a half? No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, so we will have enough, I think, for another max contract or just like an expensive contract in the off season. Yeah, we should. If we move on from Marcus Saul, um, and then we maybe, yeah, if we moved on from Marcus Saul, we should have enough for like a, a more than twenty mil year a guy. I think so. Um, let's see if we win it all. Actually, I'll show you guys the stats if you are curious about the squad. So Luca was incredible. Ad and Kristaps both averaged nineteen and eight. Uh, Kristaps shot thirty nine from three. Ad shot. 28 from three so i don't know how he fits that super well i guess he's a good offensive rebounder 2.8 a night which is really good um jalen brunson 12 points um and also he averaged two assists for a bit that's solid um but jalen brunson 12 and 7 uh there's a quarrel marcus all obviously if it's a well he could shoot the three he can rebound okay not great but he could pass the ball um and then there's halliburton a robinson um that wraps up the team so uh, we're taking on Minnesota in round one. We would have to face Denver or Phoenix in round two. It is Denver. We beat them. We beat the Clippers. And we won it all in year two. All right. I didn't even mean to do that. And we won it all. Cool. Uh, Luka is your finals MVP. As you would expect, we beat the Sixers in five. So draft lottery. I think we hit the Lakers first. Is it going to be... A Okay, it's going to be in the lottery, uh, but it's looking like it is going to be at the end. Yeah, it is at 13, but hey, I'll take that because we never first on pick this year. The Knicks have it at 30. Uh, staff signing, we'll keep Carlisle. Uh, if we feel like it's inching away from us, uh, we'll go out and try to get a new head coach. But Carl seems like it's working with him and it's developing with him, I guess. All right, so I don't think I'm going to make any trades here. Uh, we are going to draft whoever is best available at 13. So with the 13th pick, I did take Earl Timberlake. He's a 73 overall. He's out of Miami of Ohio, which the only person I know that's went there is Ben Roethlisberger um, for the Steelers. But that's cool. He's a 6'6 small forward. He could be traded down the line, though. Uh, so obviously, we're going to pick up the contracts on Luca Robinson Brunson. And I will for Marcus Saul because... If we want to clear up that six mil, I can always trade him. So, uh, I don't know what we'll be able to do in free agency right now, but let's see. So, okay, there's a couple five stars. Oh, George. Okay, him or Dinwiddie is who I need, definitely. It sucks, like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to afford Giannis um, or Jason Tatum. Um, do we trade Kristaps and then throw Giannis in there? I'm not going to do that. Uh, but what I definitely want to do is go after Spencer Dinwiddie. So, I think we will have to trade Marcus Saul if we do want to complete that. So, yeah, I can get a... Uh, can I get a first or is it just seconds? Okay, I'm going to get second. So we'll get a second from Chicago. Uh, cool. And I'm going to offer Dinwiddie a deal. And then hopefully we can go over um, the cap to get, uh, what's his name? Uh, George Hill. So we're going to give Dinwiddie a three-year deal. And then hopefully we can afford, I think, yeah, we can use an exception on George Hill. So let's see. Can we get both of those guys? And is there a wing left? Not really. Uh, there's a bunch of four-star guys. Lonzo fits it well. All right. Uh, so we can't afford George Hill, uh, which kind of sucks. So... Um, let's hope he doesn't get signed. Oh, did he get signed already? No, he didn't. Okay. Is, is somebody offering George Hill a deal? Because I don't want George Hill getting signed. Okay, good. Can we not use the mid level exception on him? Damn, it only goes to 4 mil. Okay. So what we're going to do is probably trade for him. Uh, let's go to all positions affordable. And let's see who fits our system the best. It is awesome. Rivers, Jay Crowder. Okay. I think I will sign Rivers. But I might trade him now. So I probably want to sign the best possible player that I could afford um because i'm probably gonna just trade this player so that would be patty mills well who's expecting the most Musa? no i'll go after duncan robinson probably gonna trade him i would like to get george hill so maybe i'll trade him and mike halliburton uh can we okay we can use like a 1.73 mil option here we'll sign tyreek evans but we got some moves to make so george hill has yet to been signed so that sucks um I would like to sign him, but I'm going to wait to have to trade for him. So if we check out the system efficiency, uh, can we throw uh, Dinwiddie? So Dinwiddie fits it well. Um, it's really just that small forward position. It's really just that small forward position. So I might wait till free agency next year to figure this out. Oh, because uh, I really don't know who fits it well. Um, if we check out other uh, systems, do we have a four and a half anywhere? No, we do not. Okay, so I'm going to wait here till play progression and see if we can maybe trade for George Hill. Hopefully he gets signed. All right, so we got 7.6 mil from the Kings. I will be offering 
Um, what's his name? I'll offer uh, Duncan Robinson. Okay, so we can just do Duncan Robinson for Hill straight up. Perfect. So let's see if it's any better with George Hill, maybe at shooting guard, or let's just change his position to shooting guard, and then we can test that out. So if we go to system proficiency, uh, we would want Luca at the three. Um, there we go. We would want Dinwiddie here at the point guard, and then we w would want George Hill at shooting guard, and it's only four stars. Damn. Oh, uh, so George Hill's at three and a half, so it lied to me. It said he was at four and a half. I don't know if our triangle's any different. Whatever. Uh, Kristaps is four stars. Oh, do I trade Kristaps for like Jason Tatum because he was four and a half stars? No, but maybe if there's a big next year that I know is five stars or four and a half stars, maybe we should trade Kristaps for that guy. We'll see though. We have 298, so we have an 89, 87. I should probably trade Mitchell Robinson, um, but maybe actually we could probably pay him next year and then move on from him. So we do have untapped potentials. I will send, um, I think to a Coro. Uh, we could send like Earl Timberlake there, sure. Um, and then I will send um, Halliburton. Uh, I think Timberlake might be in the G League. Actually, yeah, he's definitely going to be in the G League this year. All right, guys, so here's the rotation. It's going to be Dinwiddie, Halliburton, Doncic, Davis, Porzingis with a bench of Brunson, Robinson, Okoro, and George Hill. Is Dinwiddie like a really good rebounder? Yeah, he is. And he can space the floor and pass it. All right, uh, so I guess we're going to look for guys like in the player finder. Let's see that like can space the floor. So I would want probably a B or better from three. Uh, playmaking, probably a B or better. And then, uh, rebounding, probably a B or better. Oh, there's not many. And we already have one of them. Okay, Giannis is probably that guy we wanted to get. Maybe if we could trade Kristaps for Jokic, that could be something, but we'll see. So, um, our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, is five. We still have some work to do, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys, so we end the season with a 63-19 and record. Oh, man, Bam's averaging 20-14 and and not even shooting threes. He's averaging two and a half assists, three blocks. He'd probably be a great guy for the system. All right, so we're taking on Denver in round one. Uh, if you guys want to see the stats from this past season, 80 less in scoring, then it was Kristaps, then Luka, then Dinwiddie, then Okoro. Uh, Okoro shot 52 from the field and 38 from three. Um, I guess because he's not really a good rebounder or passer particularly, but he can space the floor. I thought Halliburton would be... Yeah, I, he can't really space the floor. I guess that's why he doesn't fit it. All right, so we should beat the Nuggets. Uh, yeah, we do beat them in five. Now we're taking on 80's former team, who did sign Jabari Parker, Sato, Oladipo, Steven Adams, Bertans. Damn, they got some weapons next to LeBron. Uh, it's not a bad team, but we do beat them in five. Now we're taking on Giannis and the Spurs. Also have DeRozan, Murray, uh, Walker Kessler. Where does he go to school again? Duke, uh, Kuzma, Devon Wright. All right. Um, and we actually beat them in seven. And now we're taking on the Sixers once again in the NBA Finals. And I'm sorry, Philly. We're going to have to beat you again. We beat them in seven. But, you know, that's cool. We won two finals in this video. But I want to complete the five-star triangle system proficiency challenge. I don't think we have any high first-round picks here. Uh, yeah, we don't have any first-round picks. Oh, no, we do. We have our pick at 30. I'm not going to fire Rick Carlisle. I think I'm going to keep him around. So with the 30th pick, I took Steven Robinson. He's a 69 overall point guard out of uh, the Pacific. Maybe he plays in the ocean. Who knows? That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then Gerard Brown. This is an auto-generated draft class. Um, but yeah, we are going to pick up the options on our 2020 rookies. Uh, I believe Mitchell Robinson is not restricted. Okay, but we do have bird rights on him and Brunson. So let's make sure we sign these guys. Um, and yeah, obviously we'll match any Luka deal. What? He declined our deal? Oh my god. What, bro? Why would you decline this? What are you doing? All right, well, you're not going to get that much money from anyone else, so maybe he will accept it. All right, so who fits the system? Kyrie, not going to be able to get him. Kemba, Chris Paul, Trey Young. I don't know how I'm trading for those players because they're just going to make so much money. Rocco. Okay, Austin Rivers. It says he's four-star. Interesting. But I wanted to use Mitchell Robinson's big contract to possibly trade him. Uh, so Luka's going to get a deal from the Thunder. We are going to accept that. Um, and then Brunson, we will sign as well. Come on, Mitchell Robinson. I don't know what's going on. He's got 12 offers. Damn! Oh, if I knew he wasn't going to accept this deal, I could have matched that with so many different people. Hopefully, maybe guys don't uh, actually sign him. No, he got signed by the Magic. Damn, that sucks. All right, so I'm going to go out and sign Jeremy Lamb for about 10 mil a year. And we can use that possibly in a trade. But yeah, that really does suck. But uh, Brunson, now we can move. I probably should have gave him a little bit more money. So uh, let's go back to the player finder. Let's go to guards. Um, that, let's see. Because I saw Kyrie. He had an A3. So we're going to go B plus at 3. We're going to go B plus at playmaking. 
and we're going to go at least a D or better rebounding. And we're going to try to find some good rebounders. So there's seven guys here. Lonzo. Okay. I don't know why Kyrie is... Oh, no. Kyrie had a D minus rebounding, actually. Um, yeah, let's check that out. So there's 88 guys here that we could possibly go after. I don't know who we'd be able to afford. Um, DeJounte Murray. Oh, I feel like he would fit our system well. He could shoot the three. Um, yeah, he could shoot the three. He could rebound well. And he could pass well. Okay, could we trade Jalen Brunson for DeJounte Murray? Um, I will throw in this Lakers first, this Bulls second, my first this year. Let's get it done. Mm, okay, is there anything? Oh, I will give you George Hill. Uh, you don't prefer George Hill. Okay, I will give you Oneka Okongwu. I will do that. Would you guys do Brunson and Okongwu for DeJounte Murray? No, but I will throw in the Pelicans first. Come on, come on, work with me here. Work with me here, San Antonio. I'll make I'll offer that. That's my final offer. They don't accept it. Their loss. Okay, never mind. We found a new trade. So Takoro, Brunson, and Gerard Brown for Lucas Samanik and DeJounte Murray. Alright, we'll do that. So we pick that up. Let's hope that Murray fits our system well. And he ugh, come on. He really doesn't. That sucks. Alright, so. Let's find a different guy. All right, so I think we should get somebody from here. D'Angelo Russell, I won't be able to get to his salary, unfortunately. Damn, I really thought Murray would fit this. Maybe Schroeder does. Oh, Devontae Graham, he's not, no, he's not really a great rebounder. I mean, Schroeder is solid from his rebound. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should get Lonzo. All right, how much is he making? 23 mil a year? I can't believe I'm about to try to trade uh, DeJounte Murray and George Hill for Lonzo Ball. They should accept this. Can I get a first on pick out of you or just another player? Um, like, would you give me Gary Monroe? Um, we would also throw in a first round pick and a bunch of second round picks. Come on. Come on, New York. Oh, come on. You're killing me here. All right. I'll just do DeJounte Murray for Lonzo Ball and hope he fits our system well. Oh, please. Please tell me. If I move his position to shooting guard and he sucks. He's... Oh, wait. This is post centric. Was I looking at post centric this whole time? Oh, no, and he's, no, no, I was looking at Triangle. Didn't it say in free agency he was, like, four stars? All right, let's wait till next year's season. Can I use an exception here? No. Oh, Mitchell Robinson screwed me over. All right, let's go into next year's season, and maybe Lonzo will fit. I don't know, or maybe we should make Dinwiddie the shooting guard, actually, and we'll make Lonzo the point guard. Come on, and then we'll make Luka the small forward, um, where he's still a 99. Uh, does this help at all? Um, wait, let me just go to the coaching. There we go. Um, and then our system proficiency is four and a half. Oh, why is Dinwiddie dropping? So Lonzo's actually four stars. Dinwiddie drops at shooting guard. Maybe it's because he's out of position. Maybe that's why. Um, but what about if we make his position a point guard? Maybe I messed that up. Maybe I should keep him a point guard. Um, and then let's go to our system proficiency. Um, does it change at all? Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. So he's back up there. So you really don't want to change positions because that clearly affects it. Oh, man, we're so close. Oh, man, we're so close. I hope this team develops throughout the year and we complete the five-star system proficiency challenge. This will be the rotation, sure. Um, they're going to want to play how cool, whatever. Um, I just wanted to get it done. Uh, we're number two in the power rankings. Let's hope that we complete or we get to five stars at the end of the 2022-23 regular season. All right, guys. So we finished the season with a 69-13 and record. Luka gets MVP. Carl gets coach of the year. Let's hope this team develops, man. We're the one seed. Oh, man, I'm scared. Oh, please, 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 please. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, we cannot complete it. It's probably because Lonzo's four star. If Lonzo was four and a half, I think that would give us, uh, get us over the hump. Oh, that hurts, man. That hurts. We were so freaking close. Oh, okay. I'm going to go through this offseason. I'm going to try to find one guy. But if I don't get it by the regular season, it's an L for me. But hey, we, wow, well, I, I didn't even realize we just won the NBA Finals. Luka Doncic is your Finals MVP. That's our third straight Finals. I just did the 3P challenge. All right, so let's go to staff signing here. Do we try to get a new coach? Mm, no, I'm going to keep Carlisle because I think he's like just developing with the system. And I honestly think that means something. Oh, don't tell me he retired. And Rick Carlisle is not here anymore. <laughs> nice. Okay, so Rick, Rick Carlisle retired. Oh, wonderful. Wait, can I actually see if he retired? He retired. That sucks. Uh, so get me Steve Kerr. Maybe he could be the guy to get this done. I don't know. Eric Spolstra is also here. Can I... What would it take you to be my assistant coach, Eric Spolstra? Come on. Give me... No, none of them want to be anything. Oh, my God. All right, give me Trent Peterson and then give me... Jesus. Uh, give me Oliver Gordon, maybe. 
I don't think I don't think Gore. Okay, so yeah, we get both those guys. Cool. Um, let's go to rookie soundings. I don't really care who I draft. Um, so Dono Barnett, 78 overall. All right, CPU. Thank you. Thank God, AD and Kristaps both opt in. Uh, we are gonna try Alonzo Ball trade here uh, for a particular shooting guard. Um, if, let's see, is there a good one in free agency that we can maybe target? Um, so let's see. Oh, wait, we have to make sure our system is now triangle. Um, so triangle. Yeah. So let's make sure we're triangle. That's our active system. Um, let's go here. And then is there any shooting guards here that fit it? Bradley Beal. Oh, it would cost a lot for me to get Bradley Beal. Fred Van Vliet also fits it really well. All right. Maybe I got to trade for Fred Van Vliet. Okay. Um, let's see. Jokic. I mean, if I could have moved uh, KP for Jokic, I definitely would have. Uh, Lucas Samanek. I hope he doesn't get signed because then I'm going to give him like 30 mil a year so I can match him up with like Bradley Beal maybe. I don't know. Um, but let's wait a little bit. So, because um, that's what I want to do with Mitchell Robinson. But of course, he didn't want to sign with us maybe because I didn't play him enough. I don't know. He didn't like the triangle system. That would maybe make sense. Uh, so let me give Lucas Samanek as much as I can. Yeah, we're going to give him like 20 mil a year. So hopefully he accepts. Well, yeah, he'll definitely accept that. Bradley Beal got signed by the Cavs. Is there any way I have the ammo to get Bradley Beal? I don't believe so, but <laughs> we could try it. Oh, he's only five stars. Wonderful. Um, so Lucas Samanek, I give him 22 mil a year. I will also give you Lonzo Ball. Um, I will give you, who do you like here? Halliburton? Okay. Um, I do have first round picks if you prefer. Uh, do you like three first round picks or would you rather have a player? Okay. I'll give you two first round picks and I'll give you Earl Timberlake. Okay. I'll give you one first round pick. And I'll give you Jeremy Lamb. You can't afford. So I'll give you uh, Donnell Barnett. Um, and you're going to have to give me, let's see. Or uh, let's see. Will you do this? And I'll give you one more first round pick, please. Oh my God. It's going to be impossible to trade for him. All right. So what I'm going to do is go out and try to get Fred Van Vliet here. Oh, his first name or his last name would start with Van, not Vliet. So, um, oh, he's still a free agent. All right, so Fred Van Vliet didn't get signed, so I'm going to try to trade for him in the beginning of the year. Let's hope maybe somebody signs him, um, because if he's a free agent, that's not good. Um, okay, so he got... Did he get... Yeah, he got signed good. All right, so I'm going to basically trade Earl Timberlake for Fred Van Vliet. I don't know if he's going to help this system out at all, um, but let's see. If we decide to put... Did I lose Dinwiddie? No. Okay, so there's Dinwiddie, and we'll put Fred Van Vliet at shooting guard. It's four stars, damn. All right, so what I'm going to do is simulate a little bit in the regular season because I think that will help it out if I uh, do that. So let's see if that helps. All right, so uh, we're playing fairly well. I don't know if that helps. I think maybe our coach needs to adapt to the system. Oh, I also think I have to make it his primary system. But yeah, we're 21 games in the year and we're at four and a half. Oh, wait, that's with Halliburton. Didn't we? Oh, please tell me if I put Van Vliet. No, no. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so freaking close. All right, so what I'm going to do is just simulate the regular season and see if that helps because I just want to see five stars. And if it's four and a half, I'm literally going to cry. So maybe it's because we never got that true shooting guard. Maybe if I cleared up somehow, if I traded Marcus Saul and all the rookies and I got Giannis, this would have been better. Then I could have maybe traded Chris Stops. And then I would have obviously maybe been able to pay Mitchell Robinson and then trade him for like a Dinwiddie. I don't know. Uh, but let's see if this uh, works out. We end up with a 64-18 and 18 record. Luka Doncic is your uh, MVP. Trent Peterson gets coach of the year. I don't care. Um, I just want to make sure um, Dinwiddie's there. And then I want Fred Van Vliet in the starting lineup. There we go. Okay. Please tell me this is five stars. Please. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I was so close. <sighs> oh, well, uh, this challenge is the death of me. I, I can never do it. Um, we, we win the f championship for the fourth straight year. It's whatever. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.